Let's talk about Festival Lennox film. We, we met at the Festival Lennox film, where we, the first show that we did together was Jacob's Wake That's by right. Michael Cook. That's right. And to this day, I remember your set as being bold, had muscle in it, it had a this projection out into the ocean. I adored being on it. Oh, as an it actor. had that thing. Yeah, you're. Oh, That's right. You're good. You're I good. I remember all that. You can and remember it, stuff. I'd be excited at that. I was terrible on the show, but apart David from that... David Calderisi, remember David him? David Calderisi. So, uh, did you have adequate budget for that? Because Festival of Langsville was a new festival, right? It was a... It was. Now gone, now defunct. My job that summer was to create a, a kind of unit set, which was made of modules that were made of square structural steel, remember? Right. And they were uh, reassembled in various other ways for the uh, the other sets or at least two of the other shows or something it was a unit set so it wasn't as if each show had a budget it probably did but i can't remember how it was because we thought of the design of the whole season as a in precisely that way is just, I mean, I didn't design each of those shows, but I designed a unit set and maybe two of the other shows or something. You know what I mean? And then the other designers had to work with these units, these modules. And what was it like to work with um, a young company set in Bishop's University Auditorium that wasn't really a theater, it was a, a grand experiment, which in the end died? But No, it was, <clears throat> it was great, I guess. God, I've forgotten a lot about it. Um, Bill Davis? Uh, Bill, oh, no, I remember Bill. Of course, Bill. Remember, do you remember Dana Ivey? Yes. Was she there that season uh, that you were there? No, no. But I remember the man who played the old man upstairs in the bed. Um, um, sorry. Um, wonderful old man, uh, a lot of alcoholic problems, and he would be in bed for so long during other scenes that when it came for him to speak in bed, we weren't sure whether he was actually asleep or not. So Dwight Griffin, the stage man, said, OK, we're going to tie a string to his toe, and the string will come down. Because that was your set. You put him on the second floor. Yes, yeah. The first, and we would pull the string on the toe to make sure that oh, he wasn't no. awake. Oh, great. That's so great. There, that, that should be in uh, Noises Off. <laughs> <laughs> but do you Tell remember the muscularity of that script? Right, this is the end of the world, right? I do, yeah. Michael Cook was writing about the end of things. I do, yeah. That was a brave piece of writing. Uh, yeah, um, i just trying to remember the various personality, personalities who were around that summer. David Rittenhouse? Yeah. Richard Ozunian. Richard Ozunian. And was George Tuyatos around? Remember that m yes. actor? Yes. He was yeah. there one season with something, and yeah. called Arisi, of course, and oh, I don't know, lack of people. Are you drawn more, does it matter who writes the play, whether it's a, a Brit, a Parisian, an American, a Canadian, a Brazilian, does it matter? I'm easy. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a deciding factor, really, you know. Right. Right. Um, no, 